Listed as a club in Nico Valley in 2010, Mr. G, father of a current Nico student, has also played rugby professionally in New Zealand for five years. This club has grown exponentially since it has started. And then in 2012, which was last year, we fielded four teams because the club just keeps getting bigger every year. Most of them, majority, 99% of boys are from Niqua. We've got a couple of other boys from Oswego playing for us. Uh, 2012, we made the state final in the Division Two and state final in the freshman sophomore to unfortunately lose both both those games. Nico's rugby team works hard every day to improve upon its success. So, uh, 2013, we're currently unbeaten. We moved up to Division One, and we're three and zero at the moment, and one of the top seeds. So, the team's doing really well this year. The rugby team has worked hard for their success. We practice three days a week at Rose Hill Farm, and our games are usually on Thursdays, sometimes around weekends. Our home field is at Commissioner's, which is right off of here at 111th, right by Caputo's. Those are our home fields, and usually our away games, we don't have to travel too far. A few more people would love to come out and watch us. That would be like a lot better for the team, you know, get us like our improve our like, pump us up before the game and stuff, it would be a lot better for us. Yeah, I wish more people would come out. The most beneficial thing about rugby for me is when I had the benefit to go over to the United Kingdom to play. Um, it was a 20-day trip. We played in England, Scotland, and Wales. It was a great tour. Um, it wasn't a plane tour, it was actually like a sightseeing tour. So we got to see like the English culture and everything, and it was a really good benefit for me. And for Wildcat Weekly Extra, I'm Pooja Nagam.